The Stutz Motor Car Company of America, Inc., was an American producer of sports and luxury cars based in Indianapolis, Indiana, USA. Production began in 1911 and ended in 1935. The brand reappeared in 1968 under the aegis of Stutz Motor Car of America, Inc., and with a newly defined modern retro look. Although the company is still technically in existence sales of factory-produced vehicles ceased in 1995. Throughout its history, Stutz was known as a producer of fast cars America's first sports car and, from 1924, luxury cars for the rich and famous. Topic. History Ideal Motor Car Company, organized in June 1911 by Harry C. Stutz with his friend Henry F. Campbell, began building Stutz cars in Indianapolis in 1911. They set this business up after a car built by Stutz in under five weeks and entered in the name of his Stutz Auto Parts Co. was placed 11th in the Indianapolis 500 earning it the slogan, The Car That Made Good in a Day. Ideal built what amounted to copies of the racecar with added fenders and lights and sold them with the model name Stutz Bearcat. Bearcat being the name of the actual racecar. The Bearcat featured a 389 Sid Wisconsin Brawny four-cylinder T-head engine with four valves per cylinder, one of the earliest multi-valve engines, matched with one of Harry Stutz's transaxles. Stutz Motor has also been credited with the development of the underslung chassis an invention that greatly enhanced the safety and cornering of motor vehicles and one that is still in use today. Stutz, White Squadron, race team won the 1913 and 1915 national championships before withdrawing from racing in October 1915. Topic. Stutz Motor Car Company of America, Inc. In June 1913 Ideal Motor Car Company changed its name to Stutz Motor Car Company of Indiana and Stutz Auto Parts Company it manufactured Stutz's transaxle was merged into it. To find new investment capital for expansion Stutz Motor Car Company of Indiana was sold in 1916 to Stutz Motor Car Company of America Inc. under an agreement with a consortium to list the specially organized holding company's stock on the New York Stock Exchange. As a part of the listing process the number of cars produced and sold since 1912 was reported to potential investors to have been as follows, 1913, 759, 1914, 649, 1915, 1079, 1916, first six months, 874. Stutz, Campbell, Alan A. Ryan and four others were directors. Stutz was president and Alan A. Ryan vice president. Harry Stutz left Stutz Motor July 1, 1919 and went off with Henry Campbell to establish his HCS Motor Car Company and Stutz Fire Apparatus Company. Alan Aloysius Ryan 1880-1940, father of Alan A. Ryan Jr., was left in control of Stutz Motor. Ryan Sr., and friends attempted stock manipulation which in April 1920 proved disastrous. Stutz Motor was delisted. The Stutz Motor Corner was the last publicly detected intentional corner on the New York Stock Exchange. Ryan Sr. was bankrupted in August 1922 and disinherited by his father, Thomas Fortune Ryan. Meanwhile two friends of Thomas Fortune Ryan found themselves with large parcels of Stutz stock, Charles Michael Schwab and Eugene Van Rensselaer Thayer Jr. 1881-1937, president of Chase National Bank, the new owners brought in Frederick Ewan Moskowitz, formerly of Daimler Motor and Gesellschaft, Marmon, and Franklin, in 1923. Moskowitz quickly refocused the company as a developer of safety cars, a recurring theme in the auto industry. In the case of Stutz, the car featured safety glass, a low center of gravity for better handling, and a hill-holding transmission called Noback. One notable advance was the 1931 DOHC 32 valve inline 8 called the DV32, DV for dual valve. This was during the so-called cylinders race of the early 1930s, when makers of some expensive cars were rushing to produce multi-cylinder engines. 
Stutz Motor did not go to the V12 and V16 engines, but instead stayed true to its performance heritage with the dual overhead cam, inline 8 design as used on the sporting cars of the era, such as Bugatti, Alfa, Duesenberg and Miller. Brochures boasted 100 plus mph. In 1927, a Stutz set a world record for speed, averaging 68 miles per hour, 109 kilometers per hour for 24 hours. The following year, a 4.9-liter Stutz entered and owned by wealthy French pilot and inventor Charles Wayman in the hands of by Robert Bloch and Edouard Brisson finished second at the 24 hours of Le Mans losing to the 4.5-liter Bentley of Rubin and Barnato. Despite losing top gear 90 minutes from the flag, the best result for an American car until 1966. That same year, development engineer and racing driver Frank Lockhart used a pair of supercharged 91 cubic inch 1.49L DOHC engines in his Stutz Black Hawk Special Streamliner LSR car, while Stutz set another speed record at Daytona Beach, reaching 106.53 miles per hour, 171.44 kilometers per hour in the hands of Gil Anderson, making it the fastest production car in America. Also in 1927, Stutz won the AAA championship winning every race and every Stutz vehicle entered finished. In 1929, three Stutzes, with bodies designed by Gordon Burig, built by Wayman's U.S. subsidiary, and powered by a 155 horsepower, 115 kilowatts, 322 cubic inch, 5. 28L, supercharged, straight 8 ran at Le Mans, piloted by Edouard Brisson, George Eiston of land speed racing fame, and co-drivers Philippe de Rothschild and Guy Bouriot. De Rothschild and Bouriot placed fifth after the other two cars fell out with split fuel tanks. Stutz Motor acquired the manufacturing rights for the Pock Age car, a light delivery vehicle. Fifteen new Stutz models were introduced at the 1932 New York Motor Show by Charles Schwab including the Pock Age car. The delivery vehicle was put into production by Stutz's package car division in March and the production of automobiles stopped. When production ended in 1935, 35,000 cars had been manufactured. Stutz Motor was hit by stock manipulation again in 1935 but without the spectacular numbers of 1920. Stutz Motor filed for bankruptcy in April 1937 though its assets exceeded its liabilities. Creditors were unable to agree on a plan for revival and in April 1939 the court ordered its liquidation. The former Indianapolis factory is today known as the Stutz Business Center and is home to more than 80 artists, sculptors, photographers, designers, architects, and craftsmen. Topic. Stutz Motor Car of America Virgil Exner had more luck with the Stutz name. In August 1968, New York banker James O'Donnell raised funds and incorporated Stutz Motor Car of America. A prototype of Exner's Stutz Blackhawk was produced by Ghia, and the car debuted in 1970. All these cars used General Motors running gear, featuring perimeter-type chassis frames, automatic transmission, power steering and power brakes with discs at the front. They were lavishly furnished, with all possible luxury features such as electric windows, air conditioning, central locking, electric seats and leather upholstery. On the sedans there was typically a console for beverages in the rear seat. Engines were large V8s, originally 6.6 or 7.5 liters, 400 or 460 in 3, but by 1984 the Victoria, Blackhawk and Bearcat were using a 160 horsepower, 120 kilowatts, 5.736 liter, 350.0 in 3 unit and the Royale a 6.962 liter, 424.8 in 3 Oldsmobile unit developing a modest 180 horsepower. 130 kilowatts. This incarnation of Stutz had some reasonable success selling newly designed Blackhawks, Bearcats, Royale Limousines, IV Ports, and Victorias. Elvis Presley bought the first Blackhawk in 1971, and later purchased a further three. Frank Sinatra, Dean Martin, Evil Knievel, Barry White and Sammy Davis Jr. all owned Stutz cars. 
The Stutz Blackhawk owned by Lucille Ball was for a time on display at the Imperial Palace Hotel and Casino Auto Collection in Las Vegas. However, owing to their extraordinary cost, Stutz was touted as the world's most expensive car, a Royale limousine costing $285,000 and a Blackhawk Coupé over $115,000 in 1984. Production was very limited and it is believed only 617 cars were built during the company's first 25 years of existence 1971 Sales of Stutz began to wane in 1985 and continued to do so on until 1995. Warren Liu became its main shareholder and took over ownership of Stutz Motor Car of America, Inc. in 1982. Topic Stutz Models Stutz Motor Car Company of America 1911-1925 Bearcat 1926-1935-8 Cylinder Stutz Motor Car of America Neoclassic Automobiles 1970-1987 Blackhawk Coupe 1970-1979 Based on the Pontiac Grand Prix 1980-1987 Based on the Pontiac Bonneville 1979-1995 Bearcat Convertible 1970 a converted Blackhawk 1979 based on the Pontiac Grand Prix 1980-1986 based on the Pontiac Bonneville, Buick LeSabre or Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royale 1987-1995 based on the Pontiac Firebird and Camaro 1970-1987 Duplex, IV Port, Victoria Sedan 197 Duplex 1977-1987 IV Port, based on the Pontiac Bonneville, Buick LeSabre or Oldsmobile Delta 88 Royale 1981-1987 Victoria Diplomatica, Royale Limousine, Diplomatica, based on the Cadillac DeVille Royale, Super Long Limo 1984 Defender, Gazelle, Bear, Chevrolet Suburban based armored SUV Gazelle, military SUV with mounted machine gun Bear, four-door convertible. Topic. In popular culture The Velvet Underground's 1970 song, Sweet Jane, includes the line, Riding a Stutz Bearcat, Jim, you know, those were different times. A short-lived 1971 American television series, Bearcats, featured a Stutz Bearcat as part of the show's premise, although the actual cars used were replicas of a 1914 Bearcat custom built by car customizer George Barris. In the 1989 American film Parenthood, Jason Robard's deadbeat son gives him a model car. Robards exclaims with great excitement, A Stutz! In a September 2012 episode of Counting Cars, Barry White's former Stutz IV port was found and renovated. In the Happy Days episode, In the Name of Love, Howard Cunningham tells his son, Richie, about how Marion was in love with a man that drove a Stutz Bearcat and wore a raccoon skin coat before they were married. On The Simpsons, Mr. Burns owns a 1936 Stutz Bearcat, and he, Homer Simpson and Smithers use the car to get away from the FBI when they committed treason in the episode, The Trouble with Trillions. Grandmaster Flash and the Furious Five's 1979 song, Super Rappin, includes the line, I will shock your mind in a new star Stutz, and if a Stutz break down, I make another choice, I will dog my grill in a new Rolls Royce. Today Stutz models are very rare, as very few were produced, and are known to sell well over $100,000 worldwide through private collectors and auction. <laughs> 